What is going on, everybody? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team Pack opening video. And today, guys, we are going to be trying to open up the boss Bo Jackson and the boss Night Train Lane. They are currently in packs. My personal opinion is that these are probably the two best cards that will be introduced into the game at their respective positions this season. Uh, Bo Jackson, obviously, throughout the year has been pretty much widely considered the best running back all year night train lane in my opinion was the best cornerback through most of the season he just combines that hit power and everything like that that you really look for and if you play him at safety you're gonna have a really ridiculous card so uh obviously these cards are going for a ton i want to quick go on here though and see what the uh the night train and the bo jackson are going for right now on the auction block because I mean, I'm telling you guys, these cards, if you haven't seen the attributes on them, they are absolutely freaking ridiculous. So I'm I'm kind of interested to see. I, I actually have not been online all day. I have not seen what these things are going for. I actually just clicked on Super Bowl. Um, I have not seen what these cards are going for, but I, I have to imagine it's just an asinine amount at this point. I really do. So there we got the Bo Jackson. That's just the regular one. Um, let's see here. Hopefully, it'll just pull up when I do bow. All right, there we go. So, the boss edition, cheapest one right now, is 2 million coins. So, that's that's actually less than I thought it was going to be, but still a ridiculous amount. So, that's that's pretty crazy. Uh, and then, let's see here. Um, I'm just going to type in knight. We'll see what the night train. I think the night train is going to be the more expensive of the two, because I just don't think there's much that compares to night train right now. So let's see here. Yeah, 2.19 million for Night Train. Even the regular one, the non-boss, is going for 1.6. So yeah, obviously, this card is just an absolute tank. So hopefully we can pull something. It would be amazing to get one of those two cards. I don't see it happening, but we might as well try. So what I'm going to try and do, guys, is I think I'm going to go with um, maybe like 10 Pro Packs or so. And then I'll open up a Legend Pack at the very end of the video. So I hope you guys will wish me luck here as we're going and uh try and pull one of these boss cards so let's see what happens man all right first pack let's go wish me some luck what if i pull it first pack what will you guys do yeah oh, there you go you'll do nothing because it didn't happen damn it all right so we get absolutely jack crap out of the first pack rashad jennings is our gold i always keep all the golds just in case but i'm not expecting obviously that any of those are going to go for anything and let's see here and our gold aj hawk so again nothing out of the second pack i'm i'm really banking on that legend pack at the end man but honestly though i opened up the boss berry in a pro pack so hopefully it's that pro pack luck you never know i actually really haven't pulled anything great out of any of the the uh, specialty packs all year other than the cornucopia which isn't really like a a purchase it kind of pack and we get an elite we get calvin Pryor all rookie so that's not too bad. At least that'll uh, come close to paying for the pack. So um, it's always nice to get one of those elites. But uh, I don't think he's really going for a whole lot anymore. Let's continue and see if we can get anything here, guys. I want to know, what are you guys pulling? I, I've seen a lot of people saying that they're pulling these boss cards. But based on the price, I can't imagine that a lot of people are. I think people are just trolling and telling me that they're actually pulling it. Get a Roddy White. I always said from the beginning of the year, I thought this card was so cool looking. I don't know. Uh, something about it. I just think it's a really good picture. What do we get here? Anything? No, Alex Smith. Just ass. Absolute ass. And yeah, I pretty much quick sell everything that's not um, a silver that's 72 or above or a gold card. So, oh, I meant to quick sell that, but... Yeah, so, I mean... I don't know. What, I, I'm, I'm wondering what you guys are getting, though. I mean, are you guys pulling anything decent out of any other sets? Or are you guys just pulling and, and hoping for that Night Train Lane or the uh, the Bo Jackson? So there's a Carlos Hyde. That might be worth something. Just because it's over 70 overall and it's a silver. So I'll keep that. I'm actually streaming this live right now, guys, over on twitch.tv forward slash clickwithtv. If you're watching this on YouTube, obviously it's not live, but um, for those people that do watch my stream, this is a super late night stream. Just got done playing some Rocket League. Had a lot of fun playing that. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it. I'm going to upload a couple of those videos probably at some point, so hopefully you guys will enjoy those. Let me know if you guys want to see some Rocket League on the channel. 
Um, but uh, yeah, I decided that I would go on here and open up some Madden packs, try and pull one of these boss cards, because I did have that luck of pulling the one earlier this year. So hopefully we can continue that at some point and get one more boss card this year. That would be freaking amazing. I, I highly doubt that it's going to happen. I mean, so far I've spent a ton of coins and pretty much received nothing in return so far. The Calvin Pryor being really the only card other than um, the Carlos Hyde, if that's worth anything, that I've pulled that's worth anything. So hopefully something decent will come out of these packs today. We got like maybe two more pro packs or so. And then we'll be done for the day. So, come on, damn it. Who is this, anyway? G GJ Kinney. I've never even heard of him. And he plays in the NFL, for goodness sake. Come on, damn it. Dude, come on. Like, it's it's this deep in the Madden season, and I can't even pull a fucking, like, Sebastian Vollmer or something like that out of a pack. It's so crazy how just ass the pack odds are in this game, even at this point in the year. You would think that they would boost it a little bit and let us get something, but... I just don't see it happening. All right, final pro pack. I don't even know what number this is. I know it's at least 10, uh, and we get nothing out of this one either. So it's all going to come down to if we make anything on this legend pack. And I just, I don't know, man. Based on the fact that I haven't pulled anything yet at all that's really worth anything, I'm just, I'm pretty disappointed so far, but it could all come down to this legend pack. It could all come down to this. I mean, we could make a ton back right here or we could get completely crapped on if you guys haven't opened up any legend packs you get at least five gold players or elite players of course it's gonna be gold players though let's be real uh and you get four other team collectibles so it's pretty much it's really not that valuable but it's just something where you maybe will get boosted odds or something like that i have no freaking idea all right let's see what we get here guys let's see what we get in this legend pack wish me some luck Cross your fingers. Do whatever you have to do. Cross your toes. Let's see what we can pull here. Come on. Come on. First card out of it, all rookie Jeremy Hill. I actually have been using that card throughout the year, and that is a beast-ass running back. Not really worth a whole lot anymore, um, but hey, it's at least a good card to start off the pack. Second card, Greg Jones. Okay. Third card, Bruce Arians. Fourth card, a Warner collectible. Sex Streif. Saints uniform. Rams dome. I'm Johnson, Chiefs offense, and we've got one more final card to, to look at here. Jeremy Hill being the best thing that we've gotten in this legend pack. Don't think he's going to be making my coins back unless we pull one of the boss cards right now. Can we clutch it, guys? Three, two, one. And it's an elite. It's Brandon Marshall, though. Oh, man. Damn it. Oh, no. All right. Well, okay. I'm not going to quick sell it. I will throw it on the auction block for those of you that are watching right now over on the stream. If you guys want to get this card for basically free, go ahead and grab that thing. I'll also throw the Jeremy Hill on there for you guys right now. Um, so thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, of course, please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know again in the comment section what you guys pulled. I hope that one of you guys in the comment section actually really did get the Bo Jackson or really did get the Night Train Lane. Um, let me know in the comment section if you guys did. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you if you are new to the channel. And of course, be sure to come on over to twitch.tv forward slash TV. We'll be running some pink slips most likely this Sunday. So I hope to see you guys over there this afternoon. Um, and again, if you guys are uh, if you guys haven't actually followed the channel, please be sure to come over to twitch.tv forward slash TV and follow the channel there as well so that you guys can play with me live and occasionally get treated to a live pack opening video like this. So thanks again, guys, and I will talk to you again soon.